So here we have an uh, obrok. I don't know if this can actually be called an obrok or more of a war memorial. I'm not quite sure because it mentions names probably of people who have passed away. So uh, yeah, there is see two crosses to each other's back, and we have a big sort of uh, picnic place around for people to celebrate holidays, let's say. I think on the 6th of September it will actually be a, probably a get-together here, big party. It's really cool. A beautiful forest here. Yet another site of Svoga I haven't seen. I've been here like a hundred times, but there's always something new to explore. I am at a rather special place right now, at the remains of the monastery of Kirik and Yulita, which is right here. So there is a legend that uh, revolves around this place and actually I don't know, um, like I'm not gonna read everything right here. Uh, there's a lot of text to be read but uh, I need to walk on for the train. I don't know how old this monastery is either, so I'm not the best tour guide for you today. Nonetheless, there is not much left except for this wall. And you can see that it is built against, or let's say, in the midst of nature. There is a natural cliff right over there. And then uh, this is built like right next to it. And that's not a style that's very common in, in uh, later stages. Uh, let's say after the Middle Ages this was not very common like this is a very ancient method to build a monastery or church let's say they used to do that in uh, in even Assyric times when I was in southeastern Turkey this is how let's say the Assyrians and Romans even would build their fortresses let's say perched against a cliff or rock like this just make use as much as possible of the natural environment to fortify the uh, the place that you are constructing and that's what they also did right here and that makes me believe that this is let's say 800 to 1000 years old I guess it's a safe bet I don't know the history uh, what's written here it's just a legend of uh, the place which I'm not going to read because I want to move on but I don't really see a uh, age of the place. In other case it's quite interesting but I'm gonna continue my walk. It is a beautiful place, it is quite special. As you can see people still make little offers here because we have uh, we have this little uh, corner where you can leave coins or make a prayer and uh, light a fire let's say and that's what people do when they come here. It's quite typical. And here we overlook the uh, Green Isker Valley. It's just an amazing place again.